It's a rap, it's a rap, it's a rap, it's a rap, it's a rap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Rap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose wrong what you would do. Hello, hello, welcome back to It's a Rap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Today, I am going to be working on my newest uh, Vita Bella practice hand. This is the non posable. Okay, so I am using this for the first time and trying out some things to see how I want to use it. Right now, I have it in this stand here, just held by the wrist, and it's working pretty good so i'm liking that so hopefully um this works out for today i set this hand up in the video when i got the hand so i will put that in the cards for y'all to check out so this is that same setup okay i'm gonna go in with my aunt's ready for takeoff peel base and I think I'm going to do one coat would probably probably be enough, but I'm just going to do two coats just in case. But one coat should be enough. Let's just, I don't know. Let's just do one coat and see what happens. For today's look, we're going to do a kind of St. Patrick's Day theme look. I have these two tips out. I think I'm going to use the really long ones. And for the look, I'm not really sure what I want to do for the look. I know we got to have some glitter, um, possibly some bling or something. So, we're just going to kind of figure it out as we go. Um, when this is dry, I'm going to go in and apply the tips. I just did a look for St. Patrick's Day. Here it is. If you haven't seen this video, definitely go check it out. Somebody asked me to do a video using this hand from Amazon. So check that video out. I also have that in the cards as well, okay? Okay, so the peel base is dry now and I went ahead and sized out my tips. So I'm going to apply those with some of this um, KDS glue. All right, so we got our tips on and over here I pulled some colors. I got some greens, golds, this um, green glitter stuff. And I have um, some rainbow colors because I want to try to do like a rainbow nail. So we are gonna see how that works out okay so um, I'm going to be using my uh, creations by Kiki brush for this and I think I think I want to start on the pinky for the pinky I think I want to go in with this green glitter and I did find my tried and true St. Patrick's Day um, little stickers. I have been using these for years. I think these are um, water decals. 
So I have to incorporate these. I want to try to use some of these different kind of shape designs or something. So we'll figure that out um, in a second. I did not um, blend the tip in just because this is a practice hand and I didn't really feel that I needed to. I'm trying to see if I want this to be kind of sheer or what I want it to do. And I hope this stays in focus. If it gets out of focus, I do apologize. It's a lot of things that this camera trying to focus on. <laughs> so y'all know how I feel about the Vida Bella practice hands. Um, this one is the non-posable, like I said. And the non-posables are a lot easier to work with but um not as much realistic as opposable and i say that because when you work with clients they're not that easy to move okay um especially the people that i be working on they do not want to relax their hand it just be a whole thing so um working with a non-posable hand is so easy i can just move this finger however i need to but um if you want something that's going to be like realistic where you might have to you know struggle a bit okay um the posable will be a good option for that. But if you're not trying to fight against somebody, go ahead and get you the non-posable. Because it is so easy. And that is so pretty. I think I'm just going to leave that like that. On this finger, let's try, let's do some gold. Let's do that. This particular gold is from Model Ones. It is so pretty. And for this one, I want the bottom to be a little see-through. I'm trying to wait a little while a lot of times I be in a rush trying to move quickly and with the model ones I want to make sure that I give it that time to set up and this is my base so it doesn't have to be that thick I am going in with decals and I will be capping it in clear. I like working on this hand because the cuticle area, for me, it feels like the closest to a natural person, like a real person. And I like, um, using it because of the with the tape and all that kind of stuff i have been doing that with all of my practice hands but on this hand the cuticle area it just it just gives you know a real person yes okay so i'm gonna leave that one like that okay on this middle finger i want to try to do the rainbow i'm trying out some different angles trying to get some closer looks and things for y'all so hope this is looking good
Okay. Goodness gracious. That little piece did not want to come out of there. So I am fairly pleased with this rainbow nail. This is like the first one I have done that I really, really liked. Super cute. Okay. So for the pointer finger, let's try to do the gold and the green. Let's see what we can do with both of those. I need to let this set up a little bit more. It's setting extra slow. You can um, use like an exacto knife and all that kind of stuff. I typically don't do all of that. You can also let it um, cure up some and then file it straight again I'm not doing none of that not that it doesn't work I just don't feel like doing the extra steps now I'm going to go in with the gold and a line under the green Again, this green and the gold are from model one, so I'm trying to remember to let them set up for a second. Okay, we get somewhere. Okay, in the gaps, I'm going to apply this green glitter. Okay. So let me put a little of this on my napkin so I can kind of see the pieces. I want to pick up and there it is on my napkin so I'm going to go in with a little clear in that area and then put the glitters there So let's see what we got so far. This is what we got so far. Y'all can see all of it. Okay. So on the thumb, I might just go in with that light green again, just to kind of bring it all together so i'm gonna go in on the thumb with this and this is um model ones
All right, all of the nails are done. Now I am going to pack them in clear. And this is how they look before the capping. Super cute, okay. Absolutely love it. I definitely love these two. These two are super cute. So now I'm going to cap it in clear. I'm just going to use my little clear concoction to go ahead and cap these quickly. So let's cap this one together. All right, so that's basically the gist of the capping. I'm going to finish this up and encapsulate um, the rest of them off camera. And then we'll get into the filing. Okay, so the nails are encapsulated. All right, um, based off of how they look, I think I'm only going to hand file. I don't really feel like pulling out the drill and all of that so i'm just going to hand file these um just to you know crispen it up a little bit and then i'm going to go in with my water decals and top coat So that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to repeat those steps on the other three. Okay, this is how the nails look. Um, foul, shape, buff, all that good stuff. I have my handy dandy swipe here. And I'm going to clean them off. Get that dust off of there. You can also use this on the hand. The silicone hands do get kind of dusty. So I like to just use my swipe to just get all of that. So I'm going to cut some of these out and um, put a drop of water on it so that they can separate and then I'm going to um, put some base gel. I'm going to use the um, Bellavina base coat and top coat to apply these. So I'm going to start with base gel. Then I'm going to apply this. And then to seal it in, I'm going to apply the top coat. Okay. And I'll be using these little scissors to cut my items out, okay? I was trying to find something to put some water on. I'm just gonna pour the water like that. We're gonna see if these separate. They could be old. The clear film is not or was not on it. So they may or may not work. We just gonna see. Cause they are not separating. Uh oh. We got one. Awesome. So that one came off. Perfect. Uh-oh, we got another one.
that one came off. I don't know if y'all can even see what I'm doing. I'm trying to separate these from the paper. These are water decals. So all you have to do is wet them and they should come off. And they are working like a charm. There you go. Whoop, there it is. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the base coat. And I need to get my flashy. Okay. So back to the hand. I first need to think about where I want to put these at. That would be a good idea. Um, think about where they will show up. I think I put him on the middle finger along with celebrate at the top on the gold one i think i want to put Ooh, i like that one on there again y'all can't see me for this one might put this one on the pinky and then I put the look of the Irish on the gold so yeah I got my placement all right let's get to work now when you do this you want to use some base coat and you want to apply this while the base coat is wet um, this is going to help with your placement so that you can slide it around. Um, remember, this is a water decal. It's not a sticker. I even do this with my stickers as well sometimes so that I can kind of slide it into place and so that I can cure it into something. A lot of times when you just put stickers on the nail, they don't really um, stick. So this is gonna give it something to stick to. So after I get it where I want it, gonna cure it for a second and then press it. Okay, now I'm going to apply some base coat all over these, cure that and some top coat all over them and cure that. And then we're gonna see what they are looking like. Okay, so this is what the nails look like, okay? Let 
let me know which nail is your favorite i'm digging these two right here that rainbow is just doing the job i absolutely love it so let me know in the comments which one is your favorite here's a closer look so i would have preferred to encapsulate the water decals but i did not i put them on top so the water decals can sometimes be a little bulky that's why you want to press them down and shake them together and run it over and all that okay but um if i would have put them on the inside i feel like they would have looked better in my opinion but on the outside you know they popping too okay so again let me know in the comments which finger is your favorite the pinky over here the ring finger the middle finger the pointer or the good old thumb okay so i hope you all enjoyed this video this saint patrick's day inspired set okay leave me some comments hit that like button and share this video with a friend okay and always remember to keep god first family second and everything else will get in line in that order okay make sure that you all subscribe to the channel okay hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell do all of the things okay and uh, guess what time it is it's a wrap i will see y'all in the next video it's a wrap 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 hello hello welcome to it's a wrap where i help you achieve your finished look hell yeah, makeup nails fashion at most yeah it's time for you to choose from what you would dose it's a one-stop shop it's a wrap yeah we do that go subscribe hit the bell leave a like and just sit back